It's finally happening, guys. Chicago Democrat torches city leaders as clinics close, close schools, all making room for migrants, something that Chicago was obviously not ready for. You have an inflow of 20, 30, 50,000 people in the past two years. They can't have all these people coming in when they don't even have any new infrastructure. Guys, Chicago, nicknamed Chirac, can't even help themselves, can't even help their own citizens who are in crime-infested areas and with food deserts and pharmacy deserts now. They can't even help themselves, but they're willing to spend, you know, almost a quarter billion dollars on this migrant crisis because they're going to be adding in another 100 to 150 million for 2024 because they don't have enough infrastructure to house these people. They're housing people in warehouses and now clinics are closing and they're actually putting migrants in schools, telling kids to just simply hop on Zoom and just go to class online. Now, here's the thing. If Chicago was 100% ready to take in migrants, most people wouldn't really care because they don't have anything and little to no good infrastructure, we're even seeing the airports becoming migrant shelters. The Chicago O'Hare Airport is supposed to be a place of destination and travel and business. It's now just a massive migrant and homeless shelter. And if you look around, this is what it looks like. Go to the Chicago O'Hare, this is what it looks like, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. In fact, there's certain sectors of the airport that's walled off specifically for migrants and homeless people. And a lot of the employees are honestly kind of fed up. The employees aren't really happy about this because there's a lot of messes happening. Go look at some of the interviews on X. Go look at what a lot of the employees and the people who are traveling the airport are saying. They say it's almost like a third world country. In fact, some people say it's even worse than a third world country airport because third world countries actually don't even have this in their airports. But we're already seeing a lot of local infrastructures just simply becoming massive migrant shelters, schools, clinics, parks. And now the airport, you obviously could see Chicago, they do not have the personnel, the money now, and they don't have any housing to put these people in. What in the world is going on? You, you take in almost 50,000 people with little to no plan. And that's what many of the Chicago residents are saying. And that's why everyone is so mad about this. If you check out this, we need to be taken care of first. Chicago community where 97% of the voters voted for Biden are now so mad. They found out that 500 migrants are heading their way and some have claimed they have been bumped off housing waiting lists. Domestic Chicago residents now can't get housing because Chicago government's like, let's just take in some of these migrants. A lot of people have also said that this situation with the migrants is very political and how some politicians may be getting some points here and there. Check out this piece here. This is a lifelong Democrat Chicago resident. Imagine you're a Democrat all your life and you're suing your own guys. And this is because like their parks and a lot of their infrastructure in their neighborhood is being used for migrants. They say that they need to stop this. The residents themselves can't even have enough money to live a good life. And like I'm saying, they can't be taken care of. They need housing. Nope. Guess you're bumped off. They need to be built a food desert grocery store. Impossible because they already spent $156.2 million on the migrant crisis and another $100 to $150 million for 2024. So all this money that could easily be spent on migrants, people are saying, why can't you build a city-owned grocery store? Because Chicago has a bunch of food deserts. And these grocery stores aren't like expensive or anything. One or three million dollars should easily build a very nice grocery store, like a city-owned grocery store. So he's like, nah, we can't do that. What about a city-owned pharmacy? So he's like, nah, we can't do that either. But we could spend $156 million on the migrant crisis though. And this is why a lot of the local residents are just simple, simply pretty mad. Like, you can't even spend a few million bucks to open a couple pharmacies and a couple grocery stores. We could spend hundreds of millions of dollars on the migrant crisis, which even if all this money, like the infrastructure is still not supported enough to house all these people. So people are rioting at this point. Many local Chicago's residents at first were with the Democrats, right? They're with the mayor, all that kind of stuff. But now they're starting to feel like, man, this really, really sucks. So this is happening. Let's see what happens, right? You know, all the best for Chicago. The residents that deserve better. And I feel like Chicago, if they could just change things up, you know, be a little bit rational, 
Sure, taking some migrants, but at least have like some of the infrastructure ready and the housing situation ready and the food and everything else ready before we're taking like almost 50,000 people. That's a lot of people. That's basically like a small city's worth of people all in a very short span of time. And it's overwhelming, Chicago. Thanks for watching, guys. Calm below and see you later.